Hey YouTube. It's Friday. <clears throat> Smoking my Dagner cob. I've got some Java inside of it. I wanted to share something I came up with. I've seen several videos here recently talking about the YouTube monetization thing. I've been eligible for it under the old rules for, I don't know, quite some time, but I never push the button. It doesn't interest me. Seems like it's more trouble than it's worth. For such a small time guy like me. But a few people are kind of upset about it. I wanted to bring some levity. to the situation. They're upset. Not upset. They're, I mean, rightfully so, I think YouTube kind of changes the the way they're doing things. They should probably grandfather people into that, but that's their call. It's their business. But what they did was change the numbers that will allow you to monetize your channel. What they didn't do was explain how unrealistic and unattainable those numbers really are. All you have to do in order to monetize, well, first of all, you got to get around the political correctness because they're going to demonetize anything that has to do with smoking or firearms or politics or whatever you know you know what I'm talking about so you have to get around that for starters then all you have to do is get 1,000 subscribers and then have over the course of the preceding 12 months and I assume that's on a rolling basis I don't know how often they would recheck it daily, weekly, monthly, probably hourly, <laughs> but over the course of the preceding 12 months you have to have 4,000 hours worth of view time on your videos on your channel. So let's say you get 1,000 subscribers. In order to get 4,000 hours worth of views each subscriber would have to give you four hours. If you make, let's say your average video is 10 minutes, you're going to have to make 24 videos in a 12 month period for 1,000 subscribers to watch all of your videos and give you 4,000 hours. That's, the, that's not too bad. Two videos a month. Herein lies the problem. There is, <clears throat> there's a few things actually. First one is there's an internet rule studies that have been done very reliable if you don't believe me just go check it out <clears throat> it says on forums like this where people create content roughly 10% of the people participate So that throws a wrench into the plan. Now all of a sudden, you're going to have to do 10 times as many videos. So 
you're going to have to do 240 videos a year. Or 20 a month. 20 10 minute videos per month. Or you could multiply your viewers up to 10,000 or any combination of. But you're going to have to have either R, either and, and R, whatever, however you want to say it, a lot more viewers or a lot more videos. Now there's another problem. Go look at your at your uh, YouTube analytics and see what your average watch time is. Mine comes out to roughly, I checked, you know, maybe 20 videos or something like that. Roughly 40% of the video that I put out actually gets watched. So if I make a 10 minute video, people watch it for four minutes. That means you're going to have to increase your numbers another 150%. So if we stick just with views, I mean viewers, that number now goes from 10,000 to 25,000. If you're producing 24 10 minute videos a year. That's just to get at the line. In order to be securely monetized, I estimate that most channels would probably have to have around 20,000 viewers and they're putting out about five videos a month minimum I don't think many of us have to worry about that YouTube's future is not people that are trying to get monetized. YouTube's future is, is subscribers. YouTube Red, YouTube TV. That's where they make their money. Granted, they make a lot of money off of people like you know, their top 10, top 20 presenters out there that have millions and millions of subs and I checked those channels out too when I was when I was thinking about this I looked at channels like mine I looked at channels like matches I looked at channels like stuff and things I looked at channels like you know some some firearm channels that have 250,000 subs or so I looked at channels all the way up to 5 10 15 million subs and those numbers hold true. If you look, and actually it's worse for those big guys. If they put out a video, they've got 15 million viewers. That 10% rule would stand to reason that they're going to have 1.5 million views on every video that they put out. And that's just not the case. Sometimes it is. But most of the time, it seems like they get about 5% viewership. I think a big part of that, the reason that rule is, is in fact true, is because you get a whole bunch of people on internet things, forums, services, etc., that sign on, create an account, and then never go back to it.
car for them a while back. I was on it for well over 10 years. And they used to make a big deal every time they hit a milestone. Oh, we got 5,000 subscribers. We got 6,000, 10,000. But they didn't. I went back <clears throat> and looked, I think when they hit the 10,000 milestone, I went back and crunched some numbers and there were over 2,000 people that had signed up to that forum that had never posted anything. That hadn't been, I mean, I clicked on quite, you know, random ones, quite a few of them that had never been back on since the day they joined. There were like 2,000. And they, if you add the people that made one post, and those posts are typically, hi, I'm here, welcome me. <clears throat> if you add those people, that number went up to like 4,500 people that were not really there. That's a large percentage. I'm talking on an average, and it, granted some of them were lurkers, but... I would estimate that probably 30% of the users of any platform are not actually using it. Anyway, so YouTube, their future is in those big dogs, you know, millions and millions of subscribers. And you just saw Law and Smoke's video on that guy that got demonetized for shocking a dead rat. He was supposedly making $1.2 million a month. They demonetized him. This guy was making $14 million a year. <laughs> I don't know how many viewers he's got. <clears throat> PewDiePie's the, the top dog. I don't know how many. He's up over 50 million subscribers. but he's making a mint. I think the future of YouTube, as far as being financially viable and continuing as a company with profit and things like that, it's going to depend on the kinds of channels like those big ones that, that do most, I mean, a lot of them do gaming and things like that. A lot of them, like this PewDiePie and Logan Paul guy, just do ignorant crap. Which seems to be the future of humanity in general. But So, of course, that's going to be popular. And there are a bunch of people that do uh, tutorial stuff, like makeup tutorials are big. Um some news type things are, are getting fairly big because they use YouTube as one of their major outlets. But it's not just general videos like this that are that are you know climbing to the top of the heap and that never will be, at least not on this platform. There was a a guy that I really, really enjoyed his channel. Um, I can't remember what it was. Vsauce. And he does all kinds of brainy kind of things. Scientific, mathematic, just educational, interesting. Um, interesting, entertaining, educational type things with science and math and stuff like that. Well, he got big enough... and decided to put all his content on YouTube Red or YouTube TV or whatever it's called. So in order to see his stuff now, you have to pay. I don't know what the cost is, $9.99 a month or something like that. Sorry. And I don't know what he gets for being on that side of the platform, but YouTube's getting substantially more than they were with him on the other side of the platform. You know, he's probably got a few thousand people paying $9.99 a month for him. If 
if that's where it's headed. Anyway, I just thought I would throw that out there if you hadn't thought about it. I have. I think it's a little bit <laughs> comical to me that people are, are terribly upset about it because it's really not that much money that they're missing out on at this level. I see you know, a few people talk about how it costs them this and costs them that to make these videos. It's never cost me a dime and it never will. Well, the, the quality of videos and blah 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 and well not really I mean <laughs> you're just a guy sitting in front of a camera just like I am just because your camera costs more doesn't make your video any better or just because you have a state park in the background and I've got a wooden fence I don't I don't watch videos to see where their background is some of them are interesting some of them are you know beautiful it's not why I'm watching the video, I'm watching it to see what the person has to say. Um, I hope this doesn't rub anybody the wrong way, but it probably will. As always, enjoy your pipe, ignore the hype.